Thanks for watching Driving Sales News. I'm Sherry Riggs. Today we are recapping President's Club, specifically the Most Valuable Insights competition. This competition is designed to reveal data that's never been before released in the automotive industry. This year, five companies participated. They are Cars.com, Hireology, Dealerware, Lot Links, and Drive Motors. Starting off with the winner, Drive Motors Senior Vice President of Customer Success, Matt Weinberg, spoke to the research of optimizing online digital retailing and e-commerce, and how it increases the sales of F&I products online. So if you took 100 orders across dealers who were optimizing for e-commerce, they were getting somewhere in the neighborhood of $63,000, $64,000 in pre-selected F&I products on those 100 orders, whereas the dealers who were not optimizing for e-commerce on the same 100 orders that they received, they were getting around $21,000, $22,000 in F&I products pre-selected. The most successful dealerships were the one that marketed the fact that e-commerce was available, and they were also retargeting customers. Not only did they market it digitally, but they marketed it in their traditional advertising, TV, radio. We have a publicly traded dealer group who is actually, they have billboards in their metro areas buy your next car online. We've been amazed at how many dealers will add our button to their website and not retarget the customers that start the buy online process. Runner up in the most valuable insights competition was Hireology, who presented research on how to save money in the hiring process. Literally most valuable insight part of our insight was the fact that dealers spend on average about 26 days to fill an open position, but 10 of those days are spent waiting for a manager to actually open a resume to look at it. Through their research, he says dealers could save thousands of dollars if they just responded a few days faster to resumes. So if the average dealership headcount is producing $1,000 of gross profit a day, and the average manager takes 10 days to open a resume, it's costing $10,000 per hire uh, gross profit lost or opportunity cost just waiting for people to be responsive. Next up, Dealerware's Russell Lemmers speaks on how dealers need to up their game when it comes to service loaners and talks about if vehicle subscriptions live up to the hype. The idea of service loaners was to say, hey, you're leaving tens of thousands of dollars in profit a month on the table if you're managing these poorly. And by the way, if you're really chasing after profits, be very careful about subscription because it could be a pitfall. Lummer says new car subscriptions don't work, but have the potential to work if dealers incorporate current inventory like service loaners. I think the only way to really make it a viable business model is to use used inventory. Um, I think right now it's a bit of the tail wagging the retail automotive dog, and it's distracting a lot of people. Cars.com spoke on online reviews. David Green, Senior Data Specialist, says about 8 out of 10 shoppers use online car reviews and added that smart dealers solicit reviews, listen to them, and manage them like valuable assets. Lastly, Lot League speaks to the power of artificial intelligence. You know, I think what's fascinating is to watch the machine actually learn when we engage a new dealer or engage a new OEM. You know, we can see literally a hockey stick as the machine starts to learn where are the best shoppers, where, like, where can they be found, and what content to present them. President of Lot Links, Eric Brown, says when you pair two AI machines, one sourcing shoppers and one that's analyzing the consumer experience, that's when the magic happens. And that's where you see, you know, 5x, uh, 10x even improvement in performance because you've aligned the consumer experience with the consumer's interest and intent. To look more in depth at these presentations, we have uploaded all five to drivingsales.com. You can get there by clicking the link in the article below. You're watching Driving Sales News. I'm Sherry Riggs.